Good evening. Welcome to Information Please, your Peoria Public Library on-air source for all activities for the community and the library. My name is Stacy Peterson. I'm filling in for Tricia Nowak tonight. And joining me on this evening's program is my colleague, Carla Wilkinson, also from the Public Programs and Public Projects Department at the Peoria Public Library. Thanks for joining us, Carla. Well, thank you for having me. Well, I feel like I see you all the time, but we yes. don't get to talk very much because we are so busy now that all of our library branches are open and running mm -hmm. and kind mm -hmm. of going all the time. Yes, that's right. We have a lot of things going on that keep us busy. We do in all of these branches. Since this is kind of the end of November, we have a few more days left to get the people in to see um, the fantastic Veterans Art Exhibit yes. that we have going on at the main library, mm -hmm. featuring the work of about, we've got 48 pieces from 21 artists, and these are all people who have served in our military with um, either they're, co they're currently active or they're previously served, variety of mediums. The program mm -hmm. is called Expressions of Those Who Served, mm -hmm. visible from 9 to 6, Monday through Saturday at the main library, so we encourage everybody to come and see that as mm -hmm. we wrap up all the Veterans Day activities. Yes. Yeah. Let's see, what else do we have? Something else that's ongoing at the North Branch is something that is very near and dear to your heart that you started and it is the kind of the kickoff to season three of Downton Abbey. That's right. Uh, I am a big fan and there are lots of people out there I think who are big fans of mm -hmm. Downton Abbey uh, which is a masterpiece classic series for those of people who don't know about it. Um, and I've been doing a fun thing, which is showing an episode of season two every Friday at 1030 at the North Branch, kind of working our way towards season three. The last episode, which was the Christmas special, will be on December 21st. Oh, so that's, that's going to tie in perfectly. Just in time for the holidays. Now, there are a lot of things coming up on Downton Abbey, some new characters that are going to be introduced. But we have, I, I always say, a cast of 15 to 25,000 people in that show, and yet, it's very easy to keep track of mm -hmm. things. Um, what other fantastic things are you doing to kind of entertain your guests? I know that you've got some mm -hmm. special refreshments planned for them. We've had tea, uh, hot cocoa, some muffins, just a nice light breakfast for people, a warm drink, because it's getting a little chilly outside. I've been recapping the episodes uh, every day, and then we take a couple minutes and talk about the episode after we've viewed it. So um, talk about this season revolves around World War I and the effect it has had on the British aristocracy and their servants. So we talk about some of the things that are happening in the show and, and um, what we think about those. And it's been very nice discussion. So people who may not be regular fans of the show, who haven't seen the show before, mm -hmm. shouldn't feel intimidated about dropping in, even right now in the middle of it, because you're going to get them up to speed Correct. and get all of those kind of characters in order, right? Correct. Great. And if they want to go back and see the first season and the rest of the second season, they can check it out from the library. One Wonderful. Now, white gloves, are those optional? Yes, those are optional. Okay. <laughs> Fancy hats. They uh -huh. can, if they want to wear them, they can. If you feel so moved. Good, good. Uh -huh. Another ongoing uh, program that we have, we've got book clubs, a lot of book clubs that we go do. on at the Peoria Public Library. Uh, pretty much no matter what your poison, we've mm -hmm. got it. Uh, most recently, we had our friends of Clonmel who came to the main library. Mm -hmm. We Skyped in our sister city for their ongoing book discussion, so that's very exciting. Mm -hmm. And as always... Any of our book clubs can be found in the Passages newsletter or online, but we have another new book club coming up in 2013. That's right. I felt that there was a hole that we didn't have a book club for uh, people my age, younger adults, and so I'm going to be starting a book club called Young Adult for Adult Book Club. And what we're going to do is we're going to read young adult books. And I feel as though there's kind of a stigma that adults <laughs> should not read young adult books, but it's okay. And Good. I know that there are lots of people out there who are fans of young adult literature, and, and that's okay because it is great literature. So January 15th, 
Um, I believe that's a Tuesday evening mm -hmm. at Lakeview at 6.30. We're going to have our first meeting. You don't have to read a book for the first meeting. It's just going to be a chance to get to know one another and plan what we want to read. So, now, this isn't an ageist thing, right? Like, no. Like, we're not talking just young adults can show no, up at this. No. Okay. Everybody's invited. Yes. If you are a fan of young adult literature. Oh, okay. So, I mean, I could go. I read a few. Sure. You know? Sure. As well as actual young adults will be in attendance. Sure. Yes. Now, welcome everyone. this genre has really taken off in the last mm -hmm. few years. Um, it seems like you've got a lot of people who are reading all kinds of books for young adults, but what do you attribute that popularity for? I mean, how did that happen? Um, there have been studies and people have written about this, how the popularity has risen. I, I think it's very accessible. It's very real. Um, kids, you know, young adulthood is a tough time in your life. Mm -hmm. And these are books that you can relate to and learn from, and they're not heavy adult themes that aren't going to help you and, and you maybe are going to have a hard time understanding. These are easy themes to understand, and they can just be really fun, too. There are some really fun adult books, young adult books out there. And how are you going to go about selecting your titles? Because I know that we've got young adult books that range from vampires in mm -hmm. love to actual true stories mm -hmm. of transitions in their lives from you know young right. adulthood to adulthood mm -hmm. so I want people to come armed with a list of titles that they're interested in it can be books that have been out for a while it can be books that have not yet been released I try to keep up with the new releases in young adult literature so I'm gonna come with some ideas too and we'll see what people like to read maybe everyone will be a fan of the fantasy or Maybe everyone will want to read more realistic fiction. So we'll find out what people want to read. I'm not going to try to force a genre on somebody who's not comfortable with it, but right. we'll also try to explore some things. Well, I feel very fortunate because that is one area of, of literature that I'm not used to reading. Mm -hmm. And I can honestly say that when I've come to you and asked for suggestions, not once have you steered me wrong. Oh, so, I mean, <laughs> it's been a variety of things. And at first I was very hesitant to read it, um, but mm -hmm. I've really enjoyed what mm -hmm. you've shared with me. So mm -hmm. I'm sure that's going to be a hit. I know you've had a lot of input and I know that once the notice went out in the Passages newsletter, we received a considerable amount of emails mm -hmm. from a variety of people. So I think this is going to be great. January 15th, mm -hmm. Lakeview, show up, bring your titles, be prepared for a good time. That's right. Excellent, excellent. So um, also with December upon us, I can't really fathom that it's coming to the end of the year already. I know. Um, we like to keep all of our library locations open. You can always find a library location open every day of the year or of the week. However, we have holiday closings. We do. So if you come to the library on December 24th, 25th, or 26th, you will be sadly um, upset mm -hmm. because the library will be closed. You can drop your books off in the drop, but we will be, oh, pardon me, the 23rd, 24th, and the 25th, mm -hmm. reopening on the 26th, the day after Christmas. Mm -hmm. So that's, let's get that out of the way, and that's mm -hmm. on our calendar so mm -hmm. people can find that. But we do have some other things coming up. We do. We do. First and foremost, our gallery will be changing over uh, in at the main library from veterans art to holiday displays and mm -hmm. and we have a feeling you and I aren't quite sure what it's going to look like yet but mm -hmm. we know that there will be nutcrackers involved uh -huh. possibly a Christmas tree possibly people some, will just have to come maybe some dolls some dolls some ornaments of some mm -hmm. sort and people will be able to come and view that and get some holiday cheer nine to six Monday through Saturday at the library also we have two other things that are available all for the month of December for two different age groups maybe you'd That's like right. to share that sure the first one is our winter activity holiday booklet and it's available at the main library at the second floor information desk this is for children ages 3 to 12 but if a two-year-old or a 13 year old <laughs> wants one they can have one too Good. and these are booklets that are filled with coloring pages activity pages craft ideas recipes just something fun for you to come and pick up and uh, take home and have some fun when maybe it's it's too cold or there's snow on the ground and you can't go outside so we just like to provide little activities for people that they can take home the other thing we have going on is our first ever teen winter reading program we have summer reading yeah. but we think that reading should happen year-round so we are gonna try teen winter reading this year and it's for ages it's uh, 6th through 12th grade and what they can do is read any book they want 
and we have a, a short little form for them to fill out and when they've read four books and turned in forms to any library location they'll be entered in a drawing for a grand prize and I'm not quite sure what that prize will be but they'll have to read books to find out. It's sure to be a pleaser. And these are yes. these this is a really easy thing to accomplish in the month of December. It is. You know, when you look at the school calendar, most of the kids are really only going to school maybe half of the month. Mm -hmm. So we might actually get snow this year. There's a possibility that those kids won't want to go out. It'll be too cold. We hate mm -hmm. to say it. And staying at home and reading, whether mm -hmm. they're getting those books um, downloaded through our digital library mm -hmm. or they're actually picking up the hard book, what a great way to keep mm -hmm. on those keep those kids reading. That's right. All year round. And it's only four books, and we're not telling you how many pages those books have to have. It could be something really thin. It could be a picture book you read to your younger siblings. Just four books. Again, easily accomplished for some kind of fantastic prize. That's right. All library locations are participating. All library locations, yes. Excellent, excellent. Something else that's specific to Maine, in addition to the uh, actual art gallery that we have there, but we've had a wonderful partnership with the Peoria Hispanics. We have. And that kind of became... Um, a monthly program because they do salsa dancing down at the Contemporary Art Center and they approached the library and said that they would like to bring a film series. Mm -hmm. So this month we do have a film coming the third Friday, I believe, of December. Is that right? The it's 14th. December 14th. December 14th, mm -hmm. 6.30. It's a Friday night. It is. And that is Mar Adentro, which means the sea inside. That stars Javier Bardem, who has been in other stuff. I think he's the villain in the new James Bond he movie. Is. So. I, it should be really good. And for everybody who is watching and who may not speak Spanish, we have subtitles. Yes. So, you know, Carla speaks Spanish, I do not speak Spanish, and yet I could even go and enjoy this movie. That's right. And what a great group of people. They are fun. Mm -hmm. They put up a beautifully colorful display in our art gallery two months ago, mm -hmm. and they've just been wonderful mm -hmm. to work with so far. They have been, We've yes. enjoyed that. Now at our other library locations, again, we have got, we've got some more things coming up. Specifically, let's start with the North Branch, all the mm -hmm. way up on the north side of town. We have, um, following the success of an author fair that we had in April, I believe it was in April or May, at the main mm -hmm. library, we're bringing back another author fair called Homegrown for the Holidays. And this is going to feature 11 local authors. They're going to be set up in the McKenzie Room at the front of the library with their books. And then at the same time, uh, they're going to do reading spots and speaking spots at the seminar in the back. And that's Sunday, the 9th, from 1 to 4. Mm -hmm. We have some people who are returning to us. Matt Jones, who's written five books on vampire fiction and was wonderful to listen to at our last mm -hmm. author fair. Mm -hmm. We have... Um, Pastor Jim, who's a gentleman from Galesburg who wrote a book that's a true story on his journey of helping people cope through some hardships. Ken Zersky is going to be on hand, known Great. around the area for his traffic reports, but he's written the most fantastic and interesting book called The Wreck of the Columbia, mm -hmm. a true story that happened near Crevecor, in which he actually used our local history resources to get the research for that. Mm -hmm. We have a gentleman named Be Good Bob. Oh. Be Good Bob, he wrote a nonfiction book all about community growth, and it's actually, he calls it a love story to the community. He's never sold in public before, he's usually sold to his friends, so we're very excited to give him that opportunity as well. Mm -hmm. So we've got a few more coming. Mitch Williams, who's known, I would say regionally, he performs in Galesburg and in Canton. Mm -hmm. As a magician, he's heavily involved with the Central Illinois Magicians Society. He wrote a book, which surprised all of us. We didn't know he had this kind of in the works. Mm -hmm. So we're going to see another side of Mitch Williams. So that's going to be on the 9th at the North Branch. But you also have organized some really exciting things. I have. Well, the first one is a continuation of our armchair travel series. <clears throat> and this offers an opportunity for people to come and listen to a presentation by someone who has traveled extensively. Um, and see pictures and, and souvenirs and things from a different country or a different place. I did New York City. And for December, we have Germany. We have Karen Robb from the Friends of Friedrich Schaufen, and she will be taking us to Friedrich Schaufen and other places in Germany, all from the comforts of the McKenzie Room. And that will be on December 12th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So if you just want something nice and relaxing to do with an afternoon, come on out and see what it's all about. I'm very excited. She has traveled 
many, many times, and I'm sure that she'll have some great things to share with us. You know, it was really interesting. The first one that you did was with our friends from Clonmel. Mm -hmm. They took us on a trip to Clonmel and all around. Mm -hmm. And not only were there people that were involved heavily with the friends group, but there were people who had also traveled who weren't affiliated at all. We had people there who were interested in perhaps taking a trip. Mm -hmm. And then we had people who had traveled independently that came with their maps and they were following along. And mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had all kinds of artifacts there. Mm -hmm. It was absolutely a fun way uh -huh. to spend an hour going, you know, out of our out of our area and just kind of mm -hmm. traveling. Maybe if we're lucky, our <laughs> friends from Germany will bring us some kind of treat, like a stolen or a kugloff, maybe. I don't know. We'll have to find out. We'll have to I find don't out. know about bratwurst. <laughs> later hosen are optional. Uh, yes. Okay. Once again. <laughs> Once again, later hosen. You can dress up if you want. Yes. It depends on how much you want to get into it. Mm -hmm. yes. So in addition to your armchair travel, I've been doing a travel film series That's right. yep, for the fall. So the third Thursday of each month, I've taken people to France with Amelie, and then I took them to Tibet with Brad Pitt. I knew that that would be a home run. Who can say mm -hmm. no to Brad Pitt and traveling? Mm -hmm. uh, last month, we went to Cuba with Buena Vista Social Club. But this time on the 20th, at 1.30, we're gonna take a little bit of a different trip. I'm going to show the Disney Pixar film Up. Are you familiar with that one? I am. And what are your thoughts on that? It's a wonderful story. It appeals to all ages. It's a little bit of a tearjerker, so you it might is. want to have some Kleenex handy, but it's it's a very cute movie. It's a Disney Pixar, you're right, for all ages. And mm -hmm. it's, I, I call it a travel movie, but not in the most traditional sense of the word. Correct. So <laughs> I figured that that'd be kind uh -huh. of a nice way to end it. Mm -hmm. um, next year, of course, we have a lot of exciting film series coming up. We have right. a Before There Were Broadway series. We're going to show Mary Poppins and West Side Story. We've We've got a Mother's Day series. We have a Father's Day series. An so, Academy Awards series. Gearing up for Academy Awards series. We've always talked about doing it. You are steering that. So uh -huh. we're going to be leading up. Have the films been selected? I have selected the films. Um, we're going to kick it off, I believe, with Casablanca. Excellent So we're choice. going to be going through five different movies from five different decades. My gosh, that'll be in January. Is that Academy February. Awards? February. February. Mm -hmm. February. About the middle of February. And maybe we should do a red carpet. Oh, that's a possibility. Call the paparazzi. Sure. I've got a couple of gowns I could trot out for that event. I'm sure, sure. we do as well. Yes. Um, let's see. We also have another film series. The we big do. one of the big Ooh, holiday films. We do. Yes, The Hobbit. The, the Hobbit. first installation of The Hobbit, of course, it has to be cut into I think three movies now. Yes is coming out on December 14th. So in preparation for that, we're going to show the original Lord of the Rings series, uh, The Fellowship of the Ring, The Two Towers, and The Return of the King on December 10th, 12th, and 13th. And we're gonna start early. We're gonna have to start we at 4.30. It's a lot, be, they're long movies. They are. So yeah. to be done by closing, we're gonna have to start early. I will have snacks available um, to keep everybody awake and <laughs> but it's these are great movies the return of the king was also an academy award winner so these aren't just yeah. movies for people who like lord of the rings uh, anyone can enjoy these movies you don't have to have read the books to enjoy them that's true they keep actually very close to the books they from, do from, from, i mean that's a lot of information it is. that tolkien created and they've done a wonderful job i believe keeping they have. true to the story they have. and i've always said that i you can have the best audiovisual setup at home in your home theater. Mm -hmm. You can have the most amazing screen and surround sound and comfortable chairs. But once you step foot into that McKenzie room mm -hmm. and you see the facilities that we have, both there in the auditorium at Maine, you will be blown away by the high techness of it mm -hmm. all. I mean, it really, even the chairs mm -hmm. are comfortable. People they tell are. us at every program, mm -hmm. these chairs are great. They don't mm -hmm. complain. It's just, it's just a fantastic mm -hmm. space to have these kind of films. And, mm -hmm. I can't think of a better place of seeing, we all know it's New Zealand, yes. um, than on these beautiful screens uh -huh. in our facilities. Even if you've seen these movies before and there's just something about seeing them on the big screen that yes. makes it better and makes it fresh, and it's a, a wonderful experience. It is a wonderful experience. And also at the North Branch, we've got some things for some of the little kids and, and younger, mm -hmm. younger patrons. Most specifically, we've really enjoyed, and we always hear people talk about, the bees at the North Branch. The bees. So we've got right. the Swarm coming up. Mm -hmm. The Swarm is a new book club for kids. Mm -hmm. And we've kind of tried to 
name our clubs and our activities after bees in some ways. So yep. the Swarm is a book club for grades five through eight, and they will be working their way through the Rebecca Cottle oh. nominees for the Rebecca Cottle Young Readers Award. Every and one of them are <coughs> an award-winning treat, mm -hmm. really. Yes, and these are all great books, all different genres. And then if kids read enough of them, they have the opportunity to vote for the award in February, probably through their school, mm -hmm. but they can read them here and discuss them. And I'm sure there'll be treats of some sort with that. Too. I'm sure there will be. <laughs> and th we get so many kids out there at the North mm -hmm. Branch. I encourage parents to bring those kids out early so they can get a good seat because there's yes. a lot of active participation. And then for the younger kids, we have another program coming up. We've got the, um, Oh, we've got younger story times out there, and, and Anna Hudson's there's, out there. There's a book buzz, there's which a book is buzz. a book club for younger kids where they don't have to read a book, but they're going to talk about books and maybe about. learn about new books that they want to read. And um, so you can find the dates and times for those on our website or, or in kid events. Yes. And one last thing we can mention at North Branch before we move to the others. Part of our Music in the McKenzie series uh, will be mm -hmm. concluding our 2012 year with Kicked to the Curb. They're a duo from the Decatur Springfield area. They'll be performing on the 16th at two o'clock. If people have not yet come to the library on one of these events, they really need to show up. We play the music, we open the doors, we sell CDs, the sales benefit our mm -hmm. friends group, and people constantly come up to us and say, I can't believe you have music in the library, but I'm That's so right. glad you do. So, mm -hmm. and they'll wanna keep in touch for, we've got a, a fantastic uh, Celtic group coming in January. Great. Again, details on our website. Sure. So from the North Branch, let's go down to the Lincoln Branch. From the newest branch, let's go down to the oldest branch library, our mm -hmm. Carnegie Building. As always, Lincoln Branch is hopping. They have a lot of fantastic mm -hmm. activities. A lot of people come out and use that branch. They're going to be kicking off Christmas with an origami ornaments program mm -hmm. on the That's 10th. Right. That's right. This is continuing an Art in the Library series that they're doing for 6th through 12th grade students. Yeah. And they're going to be doing origami ornaments and paper bows. So you can decorate gifts that you might be giving. Um, it's a cheap, easy, fun way to, yeah. to spice up your gift wrapping. And you know, I don't... It's nice to get a wonderful gift when somebody goes and buys something at the store. But boy, mm -hmm. there's something special about having something that's been created and given specifically to you. Mm -hmm. uh, again, with that Lincoln Branch, they get so many kids get there early. They do. Get yes. there early. And yes. if I know the ladies at the Lincoln Branch, they will have refreshments of some sort. Probably. And it will be a good time. Yes. They are also going to have a puppet show in their hot air balloon. They are. They do puppet shows once a month, and they always have a, a theme that is appropriate to the time of year. So on December 20th at 10 a.m., they'll be doing a puppet show about Santa's reindeer. I believe it is the story of how Santa really got his reindeer. So That sounds like it's it could mysterious. be provocative. Could be. Could be. Now, uh -huh. speaking of Santa, they have a very special guest on the 15th. They do. Somehow, those Lincoln Branch ladies are able to get Santa to come visit every year. Every so, year. On the 15th, from 2.30 to 3.30, one hour only, Santa will be there. Santa will be at Lincoln Branch. And let me tell you, that is before all the craziness of the package delivery and the gift giving. So this is your time to catch the guy. Yes. It really is. And those mm -hmm. ladies are charmers, but you want to catch him there on the 15th, which I believe is a Saturday. So, I believe so. Saturday afternoon, take a break from your shopping run down and say hi to him and mm -hmm. get your picture taken probably with I'm them. I'm sure you can. There may or may not be reindeer in attendance. It might depend on if they're know. well fed and uh, if, there's, if there's parking spaces available or uh -huh. he might be resting them up for the busy holiday right. season right. would be my guess. Mm -hmm. Now Lakeview Branch, our most recently opened branch, not even open a year yet, but they not are yet. chugging along with all kinds of programs. They story are. times mm -hmm. specifically what do we have going on at the lincoln branch they have a film they have a film on uh new year's eve i believe they'll be showing wally mm -hmm. it's their Great beat film. the winter blues film and then at the beginning of january they'll be showing some films also for kids who are on holiday breaks from school they also have story times and book clubs going on, um, so they have, they have a lot of stuff going on there. They do. They are, they are another branch that's consistently busy, a lot of neighborhood support that's at that right. Lakeview branch, and a great newly refurbished story time room, so yes. we really, really love visiting the Lakeview branch. Now, our smallest branch 
our little McClure branch, also one of our mm -hmm. oldest branches. They do have their own children's reading room. They do. And they have some special things. Usually movies. The movies mm -hmm. go over really well there. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, they're going to have, at the very end of the year also, you can go from Lakeview to watch a movie, and then you can run over to McClure and see the Winnie the Pooh movie. That's right. On the 29th at 3 p.m., they'll yep. be showing Winnie the Pooh New Year's movie. So yes. it's a, perfectly appropriate for the end of the year. And it'll probably be nice and snowy, great time to mm -hmm. kind of go in. It's a Monday, or it's a, that's a Saturday. There won't be much going on. Everybody mm -hmm. will be kind of done with Christmas. And then right before Christmas, for one day only, they're going to be... Actually, it's more than one day. Oh, is it more than one day? Tell yes. me about the peekaboo trees. The 18th through the 22nd, they mm -hmm. will have trees. I don't know if these are three-dimensional trees or I don't know what form these trees will be in, but they will be decorated and have hidden items in them. And you can go in and find things in the tree for prizes. Oh my gosh. So a fun activity to do and you get to see some decorated trees. And you get to see that wonderful little gem of a branch, the McClure branch, yes. with a tiny little parking lot, but they do have a fantastic elevator. Mm -hmm. They have a lot going on. Amanda Doyle in their kids area would be happy to mm -hmm. give you any kind of wintertime reading suggestions. That's right. Please visit that. It's McClure a nice, branch. cozy little children's section there. It is a nice, cozy area. Now we have many different ways that people can find out about all of these events. Mm -hmm. We have have, you know, if, if people love paper, we have the printed passages newsletter that comes out. Mm -hmm. If people come into our branches, they can look at our digital signage. It's always kind of a rotating cast of what we've got going on at all the different locations. What other options do we have for people to find out what's going on at our many locations? We have our web calendar. This oh, is yeah. updated frequently. We list all of the events, contact information for events. You can go in. If you are sitting at home someday and you think, I want to know what's going on at the library today, go on our web calendar, see what's going on. You can call us. You can come into any location. We have our Passages newsletter, which you can also get through email. Yes. You can sign up right on our homepage to receive our newsletter through email. Yep. So you don't have to worry about receiving it in the mail. It'll just show up every month in your email inbox. So really, with all the things going on, whether you're visiting the gallery at Maine, or you're going to one of our story times, our book clubs, any kind of special event that we have going on, you can find that in paper. You can be paperless and find it digitally. You can get it on that events calendar. We have a Facebook page in which you can interact and see all kinds of photos of what's going on at our locations. We have a very busy year that we're ending up. And next year, with all of these locations open, we're certain to have many, many more uh -huh. things to do. So, Carla, I thank you for coming on today and talking about thank all you. the things that we have going on. And as always, you can find all of that information at www.peoriapubliclibrary.org. Please make sure you sign on, sign up for our digital newsletter, stay aware of all of our happenings at all of our different locations. Thanks for joining us tonight. And we'll see you next week on Information, Please.